Hey guys, this is Abe from Homey. And today I will tell you everything you need to know about the Homey Smart Home platform. We're going to have a look at when you should consider a platform like Homey. Uh, we're going to look at the differences between Homey Cloud and Homey Pro. And we're also going to have a brief look at how the Homey platform connects with the smart devices you have at home. Let's first take a look at when you should consider a platform like Homey. Usually when people start building their smart home, they will get one single device or some small devices to start. Maybe you bought a Philips Hue starter set with some Philips Hue Zigbee bulbs, a smart button and a Philips Hue bridge. Then a bit later, you want to start automating your cleaning schedule and you get a robo vacuum that connects over Wi-Fi. And then a bit later, you look at your curtains, you say, hey, maybe I should get some Bluetooth enabled curtain robots that also come with their own app and hub. And you can see that in a very short amount of time, you can get multiple hubs uh, tucked away in your electricity closet. You have multiple apps now on your phone to control the different devices, but there's no way to use them together and automate them together. Well, that's where Homey comes in. Since what the Homey smart home platform does is it lets you control, automate, and monitor your whole smart home from one single app using one single hub. Homey is powered by Homey OS, our in-house developed smart operating system that runs either in the cloud or locally on one of our hubs. Let's first have a look at Homey Cloud. As the name suggests, Homey Cloud runs fully securely in one of our secure data centers. So you take Homey Pro OS, you put it in a secure data center and you can get started. Good thing is, you don't need any hardware at home and you can just download the free Homey app through the Google Play Store or iOS App Store to get started. After downloading the app, you log in with your account and you already can connect up to five devices for free. So how does Homey Cloud connect with your devices? Homey Cloud can either connect with devices that can talk to the internet themselves or can talk to the internet via their own hub. So let's take the previous example. You, for example, have your Philips Hue bulbs connected to the Philips Hue bridge that then can talk to the internet, or you have your robo vacuum with Wi-Fi on board that can also talk to the internet. Afterwards, Homey Cloud lives in the internet and can automatically talk with all the devices that we just mentioned. So if you want to take Homey Cloud to the next level, you can choose for Homey Premium. Homey Premium comes in at three euros or three dollars per month and allows you to connect up to a limited amount of devices, use advanced flows, get logic and variables in those automations, and also get access to insights with all the devices you have connected to a Homey. But what if you want to connect something else than Wi-Fi based devices to Homey Cloud? Or maybe you want to get rid of some of the hubs you have at home and replace them with one single hub to control them all. Well, in that case, Homey Bridge is an excellent option. Homey Bridge comes in at 69 euros or $69 and has six wireless standards built in. Those standards being Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Zigbee, Z-Wave, 43 megahertz and infrared. Next to that, Homey Cloud has support for all official apps you can find in the Homey App Store. So how it works is you connect Homey Bridge with your local Wi-Fi network, afterwards, Homey Bridge will connect with our secure data center that runs your Homey Cloud instance. And it essentially acts like a local antenna for your Homey Cloud. So let's say you have some IKEA Zigbee devices that before you couldn't connect to Homey Cloud, you can now connect them over Zigbee to Homey Cloud via Homey Bridge. So that was Homey Cloud. Now let's have a look at Homey Pro. So the Homey Pro family consists of two products. Homey Pro Mini, which comes in at $199, and Homey Pro Early 2023, which comes in at $399 or 399 euros. And the biggest advantage of Homey Pro is that they run Homey OS fully locally on the device itself. That means that you don't need an active internet connection to keep your smart home up and running. So in the case the internet drops out at home, the devices will handle everything on the device itself without needing to rely on that internet connection. Some other big advantages of the Homey Pro family are support for community build apps. 
Next to all the official apps, you also find the Homey Clouds. You also have access to hundreds of apps built by the Homey community. In total, the Homey Pro family supports more than 50,000 devices by over a thousand different apps. Another good thing is that the Homey Pro family doesn't come with any monthly costs. As you say, one time purchase and you're done. You'll get everything you get with Homey Premium and more. So let's first have a look at our flagship offering within the Homey Pro family. And that's Homey Pro Early 2023. It comes in at $399 or 399 euros. And it comes with built-in support for eight different wireless technologies. So first you'll find the same six as you'll find in Homey Bridge, being Zigbee, Z-Wave, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, infrared, and 43 megahertz, but it also adds support for matter and thread. As mentioned before, Homey Pro early 2023 comes in with built-in Wi-Fi support, so you can simply connect it wirelessly to the network. But if you want, via the Homey Ethernet adapter, you can also connect it to your wired network. If you are attracted to the power and capabilities of the Homey Pro early 2023, but are looking for something smaller and more affordable, meet Homey Pro Mini. Homey Pro Mini comes in at $199 and is currently available in select regions. It comes in a smaller package, but don't let its size fool you. It comes with the same Raspberry Pi compute module as its bigger brother, just with one gigabyte of RAM instead of two gigabytes of RAM. Besides that, it has a bit of a different layout when it comes to connecting to the smart devices you have at home, as well as the internet. Homey Pro Mini doesn't have Wi-Fi on board, but instead it uses a gigabit ethernet jack at the back to connect to the internet. And don't worry, it can still connect to all your Wi-Fi devices just through a wired connection. Homey Pro Mini comes in with support for Zigbee, Matter and Thread. And besides that, it runs the same Homey OS as you'll find on its bigger brother. But what if you wanted to connect a Z-Wave device with Homey Pro Mini, I hear you ask. Well, don't you worry, we have a solution for you here as well. What you can do is you can combine Homey Pro Mini with Homey Bridge in what we call satellite mode. In satellite mode, Homey Bridge will connect locally with Homey Pro Mini to add support for Z-Wave, Bluetooth, 43 megahertz, and infrared. Besides that, it will also extend the coverage of these wireless networks throughout your home. You can also use satellite mode in combination with the regular Homey Pro. In that case, Homey Bridge will be used to extend the coverage of the wireless networks throughout the home. Now that we had both a look at Homey Cloud as well as Homey Pro, let's do a brief recap of the differences. The biggest one being where Homey OS runs. With Homey Cloud, it runs in our remote secure server. With Homey Pro, it runs on the devices locally. Another big difference is the devices that are supported. With the Homey Pro family, you'll get support for Matter and Thread, so the newer smart home standards, and you'll get access to all the community build apps. So you'll have access to all the devices you have at home. And the last difference being that with Homey Cloud, you can connect up to five devices for free. And if you want to take it to the next level, you can choose for Homey Premium. Whilst with Homey Pro, everything is included out of the box with no additional costs. If you want to get a complete overview between the differences of Homey Cloud, Homey Cloud together with Bridge, or Homey Pro Mini and Homey Pro, we'll have a link in the video description that has all the information. So now let's look at a real world scenario that could be your smart home. We'll have a Wi-Fi based bulb and a Zigbee based button. And what I want to do is with that Zigbee button, I want to turn on the Wi-Fi bulb. Let's first have a look on how that works with Homey Cloud. So with Homey Cloud, I would connect the Zigbee button with Homey Bridge, over Zigbee, of course. With a Wi-Fi bulb, that works a bit differently. So you will connect the Wi-Fi bulb to your Wi-Fi network. And afterwards, the Wi-Fi bulb will connect to its own cloud. So that would be the cloud hosted by the manufacturer of the light bulb. Afterwards, the manufacturer's cloud will talk directly with the Homey cloud. So let's say I press the button. A Zigbee command will be sent to Homey Bridge and Homey Bridge will send that command up to Homey cloud. Homey cloud will process that command and will send a command to the manufacturer's cloud 
to then turn on your light bulb. So it goes from your button to a homey bridge, to the homey cloud, to the manufacturer's cloud, to your light bulb. So what does that look like with Homey Pro? Let's say we have the same Zigbee button and we have the same Wi-Fi light bulb. The Zigbee button, that will work very similarly. So you would connect your Zigbee button directly with Homey Pro in this case, over Zigbee, of course. With your Wi-Fi bill, it can still connect with your Wi-Fi network, but afterwards, it can either be controlled through the manufacturer's clouds or possibly on the local network. That all depends on which Wi-Fi device you are trying to control. So in this case, you would press the Zigbee button, it would send its command to Homey Pro, and then Homey Pro will directly process that command and send it to the light bulb, turning on the light bulb. So that's a real life scenario, both on Homey Cloud as well as Homey Pro. We have now taken a look at when Homey becomes relevant for you, the biggest differences between Homey Cloud and Homey Pro, and which might be the right option for you. And we've also taken a good look at a real life example and how that would work on both systems. If you want to learn more about all the specifics of Zigbee and Z-Wave and Matter and Thread and how they work, we will also be doing specific videos about each protocol so that you know, hey, which devices based on which protocol are right for me. So subscribe, keep a look at the channel and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Thank you.